So hello everybody, welcome to another Learn English with Football live show with me, Teacher Zdenek and Paul. Hi Paul. Hello Zdenek, how are you? Not bad, you all right yourself? I'm good, I'm good thanks, yes. yes. Excellent, so Paul obviously uh, a passionate fan, passionate Liverpool fan, a scouser and an English teacher like myself and someone who used to play with Frank Lampard, am I right? <laughs> no, um, no, it's not right. I used to play with Gerard, yes. But oh, Gerard, was... sorry, Steven Gerard. Gerard. Yes. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, yes. Steven Gerard. Can, maybe has a chance to win the league for Liverpool this weekend or well, next weekend. Yeah, on, I, will, I will let you what, 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 what you mean by that is that uh, obviously uh, Manchester City are playing against Aston Villa. No. Yes. Yes, yes, okay, got it right. Right, um, so um, obviously Paul's YouTube channel, yeah, English for Football Fans, Thank highly you, recommend, yes. yeah. highly recommend subscribing to it, fantastic videos there, and your Instagram profile is also great because you post interesting quizzes. I, yeah. I really like, I really like your design. Especially the video where you kind of go through the answer. That's really cool. Okay, nice. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I've just, it's a formula and I'm just sticking with it. I do that and I sometimes post um, the, the newspapers and try to explain vocabulary in the newspapers. I know yeah. you like the puns. <laughs> the puns are incredible. I guess. <laughs> I don't believe they are funny. Yes. They are, they are funny, but also like stupid, but that makes it funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. it's cool. A cool concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously, Paul, um, the Premier League is almost over. We have got most teams have either two or one match left. Yeah. And we also had the FA Cup final this uh, this weekend on Saturday. So you, obviously, you as a Liverpool fan will be pleased to hear that your team has got another trophy under their belt. That's right, Senek, yes. It was good that yep. the uh, the FA Cup final was on the Saturday. I mean, and no other Premier League matches was on. Good for me. It like it just made the FA Cup final more special. I think. Yeah, made the occasion more special, and mm -hmm. everyone could focus on that one game. Yeah. 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 Which because that Liverpool were in it, I was happy with this. Yes. Of course, of course. So it was nil nil. Um, Are we talking went about into the, the, ex the I'm talking about the match, yeah. So, what? oh, shall we? Let's do let's do the the segments first, right? And then we get okay. back to let we get back to your match. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, matches we have seen. All right, you go go ahead. I haven't seen any matches this weekend. I couldn't watch Manchester City West Ham. Because it would have been, I tried not to. I tried to do things in the house. I tried to do little jobs, gardening, picking up weeds. I just, and then when I checked the text, West Ham were winning 1 0. And then when I checked again, they were winning 2 0. And then it's more stress, it's more stressful not watching the match, I thought, because you don't know what's happening. It could be just yeah. a throw in, it could be. Uh, yeah. nothing happening in the match but I'm sitting there looking at my phone <laughs> looking at the text thinking oh no oh no when it was 2-1 2-2 and then a penalty and yeah so I only I've only seen the Liverpool match this weekend I've seen goals from the Manchester City West Ham match I saw bits of the Everton match not much really and that's it okay great uh, so I have to Come back, unfortunately, to the North London derby. Oh, okay. Which took you want to talk took about place that? on yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the first game I saw. I have to mention it. I don't want to, but as an Arsenal fan, I will. Ha you watch that as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 add it. Let's add it mm -hmm. to the show. Okay. Yeah. And then the FA Cup final. I actually didn't see the whole match, but I mm -hmm. saw the penalties at least. Okay. <laughs> saw the penalties. It was nil nil anyway. So. It was a great um, nil-nil, Zenek. You know, I love these yeah. nil-nils. 
yep. it was tense it was end to end it was both teams had chances the extra time was a little bit quieter really mm. i think players were tired an extra time but the you know what i i don't always like these finals because for some reason there's too much at stake and i feel like the tactics are often very defensive like mm -hmm. You could argue, okay, you say it was tense, there were chances on both sides, there were some posts hit, but in the end, it was just nil-nil, right? Mm -hmm. And it often happens, very often. Uh, I, yeah, I, finals I, are cagey sometimes, I agree. Yes, they, people happens. don't want to lose instead of trying to win. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I also saw the Burnley-Tottenham game. Again, the only reason I watched Tottenham is because when it's the first game, I think it was the first game on Sunday, yeah, the, yeah, Whenever yes, there is the first game of the league, I, I kind of feel the the urge to watch it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I get tired by the time I watch more and more matches. So I, I grow tired. So that was the first game I saw: Burnley, Tottenham, and then obviously West Ham, uh, West Ham United, Manchester City on Sunday, and after that Everton, Brentford. I also saw some of that. Mm -hmm. So. Where do we start? So shall we shall we deal with the let's get let's get the North London derby out of the way then. Yeah. You, said, you, okay. you said you you said you have you had watched it. So I watched it. Yes. Um, do you think it was a sending off? Yes. Yes. I think we. That's... I think I was a little bit like oh, but he ran into his shoulder. He's just he didn't mean to like shoulder him in his face. He's just trying he... to block the run. Wasn't it an elbow? Like basically, it that's what an I... elbow. It was here. It was. It wasn't an elbow on his face. Okay, it, was like, well. it was here. So, but, but it, probably it looked bad. It looked bad. It, so yes, it looked second like second. a sending off. It looked like a second yellow. Yeah. So it was a second yellow for Holrop holding. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I, I, I like to... the tweet. There was a tweet that said Rob holding, Rob fouling, Rob elbowing, Rob getting sent off or something. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny, yeah. 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 Might have been even better if he had been sent off for holding someone. But, yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so if Arsenal ha had won that game, they would have secured the fourth place. Really? So it was a big match for Arsenal. They were playing away from home. They were really pumped up for that game. There was a lot of hype. Mm -hmm. I think most people were favoring Arsenal or at least they were they were they favoring them to get something from the game if it even if it's just a draw but then Ooh, the way the game, you I'm don't think so no I, so? I think Arsenal are good and playing well but and they beat Chelsea recently they play well away from home but I think for me I expected Spurs Do you know to what but play. mentally mentally they were on a high because yeah they were in such a such a good position before this match mm -hmm. They were four points clear of Tottenham. Now that Tottenham win won this six pointer. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my um, daughter's just come in. I haven't seen her. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, hon. Hello. Hello. Say her. I, I'm busy. Sorry. I'm live. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Yeah. So so obviously it was a six pointer and yes. Tottenham. Managed to win it 3 0, and the game it just went from bad to worse for Arsenal. It was yeah. one of those that when when it pours, it rain. When it rains, it pours. Mm -hmm. I, everything went wrong. What could go wrong? It it did, mm -hmm. you know. So that was this first. First, there was a penalty. That's how it all started. That was oh, even yeah. before the sending off, right? Oh yeah, it was a soft penalty, wasn't it? It wasn't a penalty. <laughs> Son dived. He was just leaning over him. It, there was no hands. There were, he was not holding him. He was just leaning a little bit into him. Yeah, you see this often, don't you? You do see it often. I think there was a little nudge. You do little but, nudge, yeah. Little you nudge. Do see it often and usually, but you well, not usually like yeah. It's a, it's a fifty fifty decision. I think. I think you know it what? was kind of mm. like he gave the referee a chance to give a penalty, and I don't know, man. Like last year, yes. Last year, the the penalty decisions were a bit different. Like the rules were a bit different. But this year, 
Mm-hmm. The referees didn't seem to be giving penalties for soft mm. like nudges like that. That was just yeah. that seemed out of yeah. out of place to me. And I it, think Son is it, a good diver. I think oh. he, he does make it look very he, he makes it look bad, Son. And a few times he's done this. It's not it's not the first time. There's people who are good at diving. And there's don't get me started. Don't get something. me started at this. Oh. Son is a good diver, yeah. We have already explained <laughs> yeah, this yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. I like this phrase. So you gotta put that up. <laughs> yeah, I always but he do. Is, I think it's a skill in the game, and like it, unfortunately, you need to be good at diving now. People learn how to dive. Yes, but the ref, the ref should it's know better. Yeah, My so problem is, like, obviously, problem. it went to VAR, yeah, and the, the penalty. It could, yeah, it went. Obviously, it always does, right? Okay, so yeah, it, could, yeah. it could only be over overturned if mm-hmm. it had been a clear and obvious error, and that's that's the problem with the definition. That's yeah. the pro- The definition uh, protects the referees. So pretty much whatever decision they make, unless it is a blatant a blatant error, mm-hmm. they they will um, support the decision or they will stand by it. Bar. Yeah, which which is very subjective, isn't it? It's not clear it's because in other matches over the weekend, Manchester City, West Ham, they got a penalty. It, it, the referee decided it wasn't a penalty. He thought it was a dive, and it probably was. And Jesus is another good diver. He's always diving. He's a big, strong striker, similar to Son, big and strong, and then suddenly collapses like a pack of cards. And he, yeah. Um, but the VAR said, no, you need to look at this. This is an obvious, clear and obvious error. When is it? Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the time when the referee, when they go to the screen, it, it feels pointless for the referees to go to the screen. <laughs> How many times has it happened that they actually looked at the image and overturned their decisions? Never or once, maybe. Might have happened like once. Every single time they go to the screen... Yeah. Everyone knows by that time that yeah. it's going to get overturned because it's 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 a clear and obvious error, and then the referee yeah. is just it's it's like a walk of shame or run of shame for the referees, pretty much. They just go there to 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 basically um, hear out the verdict that they have uh, yeah. they have made a mistake, <laughs> and and just be sheepish about it, and then. Uh, Point point to the spot if it's a penalty or or whatever, right? So yeah, they don't even really watch it. The referee they show like one angle of it, yeah. and it's like yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, one exactly. angle. Exactly. Why do they only show one angle? Yeah, and often it's not even the best one. Like yeah. I I don't get it. I still don't get it. VAR is just driving me crazy. I know it could sometimes go in our way. But yeah. in this particular match, and it was a massive match for obviously for Arsenal, a very important match. Yeah, I would, I would go as far as to say that every single, almost every single important decision went against us. Was, was, was it's just there was the sending off. Okay, I admit that was a second yellow. Okay, F- fair enough. Penalty, soft nonsense. Then the second goal they scored. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a free kick which was weird. Like that was barely a free kick. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it's just everything was. Was it Paul Tierney? Yeah, I, I think so. Him. I think so. I, I don't <laughs> like him. He's my worst referee. Him and Craig Pawson. Oh, yeah, that... yeah, it was unlucky for Arsenal because the atmosphere was incredible in the stadium. It was so exactly. loud. They were mentioning it on the commentary, but it was so loud. It, like this stadium is probably the best stadium in the world, or one of them at the moment. There's them, and it's. It has been built so the acoustics can increase the decibels, yeah. and it influences referees definitely. Yeah. This it, this does have an effect on referees. Admittedly, the stadium looks like a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Look at some, like all, okay, Look at some. Lid. It's the toilet lid. Look at the images online. It just <laughs> looks exactly like a toilet. Yeah. I know, I know it. I know it's very rich coming from an Arsenal fan. But, <laughs> um, 
Yes, I, I I agree. They they have good acoustics and it does it does make a difference. And yeah. they were really loud and the atmosphere was great. But why wouldn't it be great that Tottenham were winning the entire game? They had the game under control because of the mm-hmm. sending off. Play, being being down to ten men is never easy. Yeah, and yeah, it was tough. It was tough for Arsenal and the good. Why the good was Ben White playing? Ben White as a substitute, wasn't he? Yeah, was he just injured? yeah. You know that makes me think. Okay, so he 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 he's just come back from injury. So he got put on the bench, and I think by the time they wanted to bring him on, or the Arteta want, mm-hmm. wanted to bring him on, it was the game was kind of over. Like it was like I two nil, so. and yeah. I think he made a decision to not to take risks with him mm-hmm. because he might be needed in the in the next two matches. Because let's be honest, even after this defeat, Arsenal have it in their hands. Because, yeah. okay, here is the situation. So um, Tottenham are two points clear of Arsenal, or they are above Arsenal. However, they only have one game left. Arsenal have got one game starting in 40 minutes against Newcastle. <laughs> yeah. Are they at home? Uh, I Arsenal don't... at home. I'm going to check so, it yeah. quickly. Uh, can't remember. Um, oh, they are away. They are away. Yeah, at Newcastle. Mm-hmm. That will be a tough game. But but tough. if the they last want to... game in, in front of the Newcastle home fans this yeah. season. They are, yeah. they are, they yeah, are happy but, watching but, their team at the moment. But they have nothing to play for. Like Arsenal, there's, everything is at stake. Yeah? It's the fourth, fourth place. I think... Uh, Newcastle at, at Newcastle at home is a tough fixture, and I think they they um they have they have their position in the team to play for. I think mm. because of yeah. the money they have. Fair enough, but I would still say Arsenal has have more to play for because yeah. Champions League place is at stake, yeah. and all they need to do is to win their last two matches. One of them is Newcastle away tonight, mm-hmm. and the second one is Everton at home, and that should be also feasible uh and then obviously um yeah. Tottenham they they managed to beat this weekend they managed to beat Burnley 1-0 I watched mm-hmm. that game another soft penalty for them can't was believe it, it. Yeah. it was a handball wasn't it I haven't seen it actually. yeah but it was just ah uh... <clears throat> yes the the hand was like not in a natural position but it barely touched it no. And it was going sky high. The ball was going sky high. So it's one of wow. those, like, it's not even going on goal or something like that. Yeah. It's just one of those, yeah. like, oh. Uh, yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, so that happened. And their last game is against Norwich. So mm. Arsenal have it in their hands, but they have to get six points. If they don't, yeah. I think beating Norwich is, like, the easiest job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be, yes. Yeah. So that's the North London derby out of the way, I suppose. I don't think there's much else to talk about unless you have something to add about that. Um, no, not really. Yeah, I felt sorry for Arsenal, actually. Yeah, it was painful. Painful to watch for an Arsenal fan, I have to say. Right, because we forgot to do our segments, Hero of the Week, Villain of the Week. <laughs> okay. uh, we're going to do it now. Sorry about that. Um, better late than never. And I also forgot to mention, uh, forgot to explain the phrase, Sonny is a good diver. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on the screen. <laughs> it has been there the whole time. <laughs> so a diver is a player who is good at pretending to be fouled or pretending to be injured or just throwing themselves to the ground, not even being fouled sometimes. That's mm-hmm. that's who, who Son is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He might actually be a good scuba diver as well, but <laughs> that's not that's not what we are talking about here. Anyway, your hero of the week, Paul. Um it needs to Simicas? be a player. It has Could to it be, be Simicas, yes. Simi, 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 he's cast as a me cast. His passport says he's Greek, but we don't know that. He's Scouts. Yeah, that is Simi, Simi cast. What's his name? Costas Simi cast. Just for, well, he's played really well this season. He scored the winning penalty. 
It was tense, but they all took good penalties except Sadio Mane. So, yeah, Cesar Azpilicueta hit the post. Liverpool scored every penalty. And on the fifth penalty, Sadio Mane was playing against his um, compatriot, his um, Mendy. I forgot his first name. Edward, yeah, Edward so. Mendy. Edward Mendy, yeah. And Klopp had told Mane to change what you normally do because he knows what you normally do. So Mane changed what he decide or what he normally does for his penalty and Mendy saved it so the momentum shifted back to Chelsea I think then they scored I think it was it no Alonso took the first penalty they scored the next penalty and then Diogo Jota stepped up and I that was a big pressure penalty I thought that first one in sudden death he scored and then Mason Mount stepped up for Chelsea it was a brilliant save by Alisson. And, and, and since then it was a, since then it was a mountain to climb for Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. And um Timmy Timmy your hero of the week. So Simikas scored the winning penalty, yes. Him or Alisson, let's say Simikas, yes. He's been great, but I mean he, he hasn't always started, right? He started kind of at the beginning of the season. I mm -hmm. think because one of your players that used to play in the starting 11, was injured. Who was that? Robertson. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then he didn't play for a long time, but he was always there when needed. Yeah. I think. He's and been great yeah. when he's been called upon. He has been Exactly. Good. That's 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 the phrase. You said Sadio Mane um, was playing against his compatriot. I like the word compatriot. So a mm -hmm. compatriot is someone who comes from the same country as you. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, we have Clive on this show quite often, a West Ham fan. So, yeah. Clive is Paul's compatriot. Yes. You're both. You're both English or or British. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> did you, did you never watched the FA Cup final, did you? Um, but at the start, the national anthems. Right. The Liverpool fans. There's a lot of people who say Scouse, not English. <laughs> and if this is tongue in cheek, it's bantered a little bit. We know that it irrit irritates people in the country, but we also feel that we, we identify more with the region of Liverpool. And there's a man, there's many reasons why. There's, yeah. a, there's, there's many I reasons. I think this why. is quite common in the world. Like we have it in the Czech Republic too. We have a region yeah. called Moravia, which is like east of. We have Bohemia, Moravia, Silesia, like three kind of three mm -hmm. big regions. And Moravia, yeah. they are very proud and they they don't like being called Czech sometimes. They want to be called Moravians. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But they are really Czech because the country is Czech Republic as well. So I think it's, yeah. the, it's the same here. Like, you, you are English. Yeah, we know we're English. Not, you're not Scottish, right? No. Or, yeah. People talk about a Republic of Liverpool, but that's just joking as well. It's Come all on. banter. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I understand the regional pride. We, we don't trigger. identify with the politics. We don't identify with the monarchy. We don't. There's lots of things that like happen regularly that we think this is not us. This is not what we vote for. This is not what I, we want. I don't think Boris Johnson's uh, recent He's, part party scandals he, have helped in any way. <laughs> he said a few things about Liverpool in the past as well. Other uh, previous prime ministers have that. said things about Liverpool. Yeah, Boris Johnson has said some nasty things about Liverpool. The country mm. has it at times. So we think it's a sign of protest. And then it becomes like headline news in the newspapers. Anger, shameful, disgraceful Liverpool fans. We've done this for years. We've done this in the Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup. The last time we played there, we always booed the national anthem. Because we're not like we're vocal about how we feel about the way the country is run. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I heard this story, and I think you were talking about it on your Instagram as well. Um, so you've always booed, we've always booed the the national mm -hmm. anthem. So obviously, mm -hmm. the national anthem is is like every country has has this song that kind of represents the country yeah so it's yeah. played at the beginning of international football matches or some big 
political occasions or whatnot. Uh, so that's the yeah. national anthem. And then to boo, it's just to make that sound. It's it's actually an onomatopoeic word, this. Onomatopoeia is, um, it's called sound symbolism. It's basically the word uh, symbolizes the sound or the word represents the sound. So uh, we yeah. have words like buzz. Bzz, it sounds like bzz, yeah, bzz, buzz. It's like um, a mosquito buzzing or something. And then you have boo. So the sound is boo, boo, boo. Yeah? So it's an onomatopoeic interjection, I would say. And um, it's it's used as a verb to boo someone. Yeah. So for example, Kurzuma earlier this year was booed, or is still booed, yeah. Keep, keeps getting booed because of that incident that he, that you know, like when he had kicked his cat and he yeah. posted it on the social media. So every single time he's booed by the AVA yeah. fans. So yeah. that's, it's, yeah. It's, so, the, it's the sound we make when we want to scare somebody as well. Boo. <laughs> peek peek like a boo as well. Is that a game? Peek a boo, peek a boo, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. boo to try and scare somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't that wouldn't scare me. It's too soft, but boo. Yeah, like what what is that sound in Czech? Uh, buff. Uh, okay, that's <laughs> it's exactly. similar. Also starts with b. I think why is yeah. it b? Right, I don't b. know. Maybe that Funk sound. It's an explosive, is it? Mm, it's bilib. It's a bilibial sound. Yeah. It's a it's a plo is it a plosive sound? I think so. I don't know. Oh, Pit is a plosive. Is b a plosive? B it feels a little bit. Hang on, let me let me Google plosive sound. When you're saying boo, boo, it may not be a plosive actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, well, I know it's like per, like it's just the the only difference between the sounds is that one of them is voiced and the one uh, the other one is voiceless. So, um, are definitely plosives, right? Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, it's a plosive. Yeah, yeah. All of these are plosives. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Plosive sounds, ladies and gentlemen, are sounds, are consonant sounds that um, we make um, by uh, when when the air is released from our lungs, um, as it's coming out of our mouth, kind of there is there is a stop at some point, and then quick release. And when that happens, there's so much force that it's like an explosion almost. So that's why it's called. Plosion, plosive, plosive sounds. So, it's such a forceful sound, right? Yeah. Boo, poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens with aspirated sounds. When you, that's how we teach English teachers. That's how we teach aspiration. <laughs> so, if if you mm -hmm. can't aspirate, for example, I've got a student from Turkey. Arabic students do not have p in their in their language. Yes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I have a story to tell about that. I once wanted to play football with my students. I was very young. I was like 27, an up-and-coming teacher. And I, I used to teach Saudis, a group of Saudis. And I would play, with, I would play football with them after school. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I told them, guys, okay, let's meet at the pitch at, at 6 p.m. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the class, they wanted to remind everyone mm -hmm. of this. And they said, okay, Zdenek, so we are meeting at the beach tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they don't have P, so they said bitch no. instead of bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's quite, it's quite, quite, a, quite, a, hmm. quite a good anecdote, that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, that's that. Your mm -hmm. hero of the week, Timikas. My hero Timikas. of the week. Mm -hmm. My hero of the week, I think, will will be appreciated by you too. Will be your hero of the week for mm -hmm. sure as well. It's Jared Bowen, and um, he has been yeah. fantastic the entire season. An yeah. excellent player, uh, very, very, yeah. very good player. David Moyes created a monster out of him. I have to say, I think he did. He come from yeah. how? Uh, yes. From the champ championship side, and yeah. he was for doing twenty well million. Level. We bought him for 20 million and he turned mm -hmm. him into a monster. He's mm -hmm. I think he's the most most the best scoring player at West Ham this season. Definitely mm -hmm. more goals than Antonio. And he scored two goals in the first half against Manchester City. Those two goals that you were saying you were in your garden and uh, checking, <laughs> checking 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 yeah. the, the result. So yeah. West Ham United were two were good up. goals as well. Very Those nice things. goals. 
-hmm. great great counter attacks mm -hmm. he's so clinical so dangerous yeah. yeah and he has been doing it the entire season and it's not just that he has been nominated alongside seven other players for the premier league uh, player of the season award mm -hmm. so do you want me do you know the names do you um, know the nominees no, i don't actually know Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I know the little I'll, 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 let, I'll let you guess, yeah. So I'll, I'll let you guess. So can you? Get, so uh, you, let's go. Okay, Salah De Bruyne, Son. Okay, Salah De Bruyne, you're right, yeah. Son, Son. yep. Jared Bowen, and you said the yes. seven. Um, you have got four. You need you need four more. Okay. Um, There's one more from Liverpool. Van and I don't Dijk? know why it's sorry. Van Dyke. No, no, no. No, is it not Van no, Dyke? But Trent, Trent Alexander. It is Trent. It is Trent, Alec it is Trent. Trent. No, I, I don't know why it's not Mane. Mane for me, it's like yeah. almost your best player, honestly. Well, like, but it's Trent is Trent. nominated for the Young Player of the Year as well, I think. Okay, but he's also yeah. there. I, I've just checked it. So Trent Alexander Arnold. Okay. And then there's one more player uh, from City. I was thinking. Have I said Bernardo Silva? It's not. It's, it's a defender. Ah. A defender. He has been in my fantasy fantasy <laughs> fantasy Cancelo. league for, Cancelo, for a long Cancelo. time. Cancelo, Joao Cancelo. Uh -huh. And then there is one player from Arsenal. Arsenal. Saka. Yeah. Bukayo Saka. Wow, really? And okay. then there is and then, then there is one surprise edition, and that's um, someone from Southampton. James Ward Prowse, their captain, yeah, yeah, is so, um, and so and Bowen has been nominated too. Yes, but the okay. the, the only surprise is where where the hell is Declan Rice? <laughs> but he's nominated. Sorry, this is my phone. Yeah, I will. Um, how do you turn this off? I will. I yeah, I'll Press the button. Uh, yeah, Declan Rice is nominated for the Young Player of the Year award. No, I'm not sure. I hang I on, I'll, I'll find it. I think Trent is too, though. So it's surprised to see that he is nominated for both. Mount Gallagher, hang on. Tyrick Mitchell. <laughs> uh, Trent, Phil Foden, got Connor Gallagher, Mitchell. Oh. Yeah. Mason Mount, Aaron Ramsdale, Declan Rice, Bukayo Saka. So but there's no Bowen, but Bowen is nominated for the player of the year. Yeah, I don't know. Like, he, has been, no, he has been brilliant and they have a competition at West Ham called the Hammer of the Year. Yeah. And um, yeah. this year they, they did it earlier than normally because, because of Mar Mark's noble farewell. So um, okay. they had this kind of a what what you might call it like a cer ceremony, and yeah. uh, they have already announced the hammer of the year, and it's Declan Rice, and uh, nobody can nobody can say anything because it's true he has been by far the best player, but Jared Bowen, um, arguably, is up there as well because of the amount the number of goals he has scored, the consistency, yeah. sheer brilliance. I'm not surprised he's he's nominated for this award. Yeah. So Liverpool for me, have been, been interested in him for a long time. They have Sorry? been yep. Liverpool have been interested in him for a long time. And it was a you're surprise. Right. This was like last year. It was like yeah, you're Liverpool right. were interested in Bowen. And people were like, Bowen? Like Manchester City are signing hmm. great, like hundred million players. But no, yeah. he's he's um he just doesn't stop running and mm -hmm. You want this player in your team. It's just one of those that that mentality of the determination and consistency and just keeps going, it doesn't stop. You know, like, West Ham are a really good team, aren't they? Like Ben Rama has done well. I know he doesn't play so much, but he is also like a dangerous player. He's a good player. Uh, no, mm, yeah, but a little bit inconsistent this season, to yeah, be honest. He with is. You. And but West Ham fans say it too. West Ham, West Ham fans say too. He did score a brace uh, in the mm -hmm. previous game, though. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's my hero of the week, Gareth Bowen. Now yeah. let's go for the villain of the week.
So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. For me, it's Rob Holding for le, le, for just making a stupid, stupid foul on Son. Uh, I think he was over motivated in that game. He hasn't been that bad as of late, but in this particular game, he seemed over motivated, mm -hmm. and this was just reckless. Yeah, one foul, an early foul, and then getting getting himself himself sent off. Was it seventeenth, twentieth minute, or something along those lines? It's too early. The game was killed because yeah. of that. His hair is incredible, though. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Isn't it? I, I was looking at him, thinking something's different about him. Something's different about him, and, and then I realized it's his hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Incredible. I don't hair. know, but hair, hair doesn't doesn't. Doesn't affect the 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 stuff on the pitch for me, unless unless you are maybe Carlos Valde, Carlos Valderrama or <laughs> David Luiz or someone. In which case, I arguably it could be that footballers <laughs> spend a fortune on their hair, getting haircuts just before the matches the, the night yeah. before. Yeah. Well, they can thing. afford it, can't they? With their pay, <laughs> they don't work as English yeah. teachers. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't care about my hair really. <laughs> My villain of the week is, he, he could also be a hero of the week, to be honest, Riyad Mahrez. <laughs> so, yeah, for Manchester oh, City, it's their chance to win the league. If they, if they beat, if they did, made that comeback, if he had completed the comeback, scored that penalty, it would have been good night, really. And it's still, most likely, I can see Manchester City easily beating Aston Villa to be honest I think they are too strong for Aston Villa I expected West Ham to win I, ex I expected West Ham to beat Manchester C City all week I've been putting money on it I've been putting money on West like Manchester City to beat West to beat I mean West Ham to beat Manchester City Liverpool to win the league Liverpool were 10 to 1 to win the league and I've, I've been confident that West Ham would win so I was disappointed they never. I knew I knew this was your last chance. That's how I saw it. I, I was saying to myself, 15% chance for Liverpool. But the only way it could happen for me, or it could have happened, was if West Ham had beaten Manchester City. They weren't too far from it. No, the, the, I know. They had chances. I knew when it was 2-0 at half time, I thought, okay, City will they will I thought West Ham would score another one. I thought, okay. The, City they had push. two massive chances after that. Yeah. Jared and Bowen could, could have scored a hat trick. Yeah, um, it was a big chance. And then Antonio was was going alone on goal. He was going, and he he was trying to <laughs> dink it over the keeper. It was just such a bad decision there. Yeah, yeah. And so, <laughs> it's trying so, yeah, to love the frustrating keeper. because if they had won, two one, three two, whatever. Um, it would have gone on goal difference then. It would have, it would have been more exciting because Liverpool might have beat. Yep. Liverpool need to beat Southampton. It's not a given. It might not happen. So, but if Liverpool beat Southampton by a couple of goals, it then becomes on the final day who can score the most goals. Exactly, and, and City and, would be under pressure, right? Yeah. It, it, now, it now it looks like it's easy because all they, all City have to do is win. Is, yeah. And 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 it's not everything. Also, Liverpool mustn't lose any points. I believe from those yeah, last. Yeah, so we, we play Southampton tomorrow, and yeah. then we have Wolves. So you have to win both matches. So it's like it, it could be over even like if if you don't manage to beat Southampton. Like you never know. Southampton are True. always unpredict unpredictable. Yeah, yeah playing we have four at home. behind them. Yeah. So, so it, it yeah, the, the good thing is like ho hopefully you beat Southampton. So hopefully it will go. Down to that last match mm -hmm. on Sunday, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're playing all, tomorrow, actually, against yeah. Southampton. Yes, we are, and mm. the the stress is causing me. I I can't think about anything else, even though we're winning, and we're this is was Zenek we're winning, and I'm still up the wall. I can't, like, well, yeah. <laughs> It's it's incredible, like the position you put yourselves in by yeah. having a chance to win a quadruple. It's it's yeah. just immense, yeah. It's massive. You and you already got 
two cups under your yeah. belt. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So you won the League Cup. Now you have won the you've just won the FA Cup. You're in the Champions League final. Yeah. Again, you will be playing obviously Real Madrid. Yeah. Great team, but I think you have a good chance yeah, in that chance. game. I, I think yeah. so. Um I've always then, said this, this sorry, go on. No, I just then the league. Uh, it's it's yeah, the, then the league. It's a lower chance. Said, it's like three percent chance now for you. Come on, Zelek. There's more than that. <laughs> okay, three point. You, you've 3. been you were saying this like the other week as well. You've been saying this since January, to be honest. Nah. And I'm like, Zelek, don't worry, what? we will come back. Manchester City are not that good. Liverpool have been unlucky in a couple of matches. Manchester things have gone Manchester City's way. We just need a few things to change. And it, they haven't dropped many points, really. But you were ruling Liverpool out in January. As well, most of the country, yeah. I was, I was, but then fair, fair play to you. You managed to come back, and uh, you looked really good. And it was a tight battle at the top of the league. But now, yeah. now it really looks like it's it's easy for City. They're playing at home in front of their own fans. Yeah. They will give their best. They will die on the pitch for that. Come on, yeah. it's just I, I can't. I, I, I can't see it happening. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can't see it. And just the speed and the quality that they have. Like I can see Villa scoring, to be honest. I, I think Danny Ings or like someone Villa are quite dangerous attacking. I can see them scoring. But yeah. I can see Manchester City scoring yeah. two, three, four, five. Well, if they score the first goal, Villa, then yeah. the only thing that could happen is that somehow City collapse. They crumble or they just yeah. It's a game of football, and I think like yeah. I, Villa's Villa have dangerous forwards. Watkins, if he plays, is good. He's playing really well. Danny Ings, ex Liverpool player. Philippe Coutinho, ex Liverpool player. Wendia has been playing well. It's just the defenders, really. I and, just and and your mate defenders. and your mate Steven Gerrard, obviously their Steven manager. Gerrard. Imagine so... I've been saying this for months. I'm saying <laughs> Manchester City play Villa. Did I say it to you? It's written, imagine if this happened. Gerard's Villa beat Manchester City on the last game of the season. If, if it happens. Liverpool win the league. If, if, it, if happens, it happens. Nothing, nothing is stopping win him. win the quadruple. Come on. He, he's going to get a statue. Yeah. Or Does he already have a statue? On, he doesn't on, no. have one, no. He has well, a mural. He has a mural. <laughs> he's going to get a statue after that. And not only that, he will become the next Liverpool manager when Klopp decides to go. For sure, for sure. <laughs> for doing uh, that, for doing that, <laughs> just <Yeah>. for that. <laughs> Even if he's yeah. Well, nobody has well, ever done that, right? No one has ever won the quadruple in the in the history. No, of there's not many league. There's only one team in the whole of Europe who has ever won the quadruple, but not many countries oh. have the League Cup. Celtic won. So you, when you think oh. about Celtic, Germany, and all the dominance of Bayern Munich and the Scottish teams, etc. Okay, France. But only Celtic in like 1967, I think. Oh, have they won a European Cup as well? Yeah, they won the European oh, Cup okay. that year. Yeah, I oh. think it was 1967. All right, fair play. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, that's uh, that's our. That's what's happening this Sunday. Is the next? Oh, Liverpool need to beat Southampton first. Yes. Yeah. And then you never know. But Mares penalty could have won it. He is my villain for the Manchester City fans. If he had scored that, he's my hero. <laughs> Fabianski is my hero. <laughs> yeah, Fabianski yeah. was a fantastic performance from him, to be honest. Was An it? excellent performance. But Manchester City so, goals were a deflection. And then yeah. an own goal. What was crazy? Yeah, that, Vladimir Tsofal, my compatriot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scoring a terrible he was score he scored his first goal ever for for his team. Well, Really? really? That was his first. Oh my god! <laughs> it was yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't that bad in that game either. Well, he was no, struggling with yeah. Jack, he was struggling with Jack Grealish a little bit, but who doesn't? Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah. that own goal that was really, really bad own goal. It was a bad that own goal. You don't really see many own goals like that anymore. Well, I've seen a couple, but this was really unnecessary. Okay. No, yeah, but you know what? You know what? Uh, West Ham fans are okay with this because um, Wolverhampton Wanderers didn't manage to beat Norwich City 
Oh, yeah. And that, that means that uh, West Ham United will have or will have uh, will uh, or have already secured uh, <laughs> European football for next season. So yeah. two back-to-back -back seasons with European football for West Ham United, the club mm -hmm. that the year year before that uh, was in the relegation scrap. Unbelievable result! Unbelievable two seasons for them. Excellent. Yeah. Like they got into the uh, FA, um, not FA Cup, Europa, Europa League, Europa League semi-final as well. How good, how good have they been? So someone who, who really likes this team, I have to say, <laughs> massive, massive kudos to them. And it was the last game for Mark Noble as well. So he got yeah. a proper farewell. And uh, there was a speech, he had a speech, and yeah. it was very emotional and moving and stuff like that. It was, that was nice too. Yeah, he seems like a great fella, Mark Noble. Did you know that he played for for West Ham United for 24 years? <laughs> wow. wow. He is such a loyal, loyal player. You don't see it in... in... Has anyone tried to sign him? <laughs> no, no. It's like all of this loyalty. Uh, like one-man club, Carragher. No one tried to sign Carragher. No one, like... <laughs> No one really tried. So I think West Ham and like Liverpool with Carragher, West Ham have been good to Noble as well. They made him captain. Yeah. Yeah. And he said in his final speech that he hopes that um, he he did uh, the West Ham fans proud. And I'm sure yeah, he did. I'm sure he did. Even but What do you think about Everton then? Let's talk about relegation. You want to talk about Everton? Okay, let's talk about the relegation battle. So... Who it's do you think um, will go down. It's it's looking quite interesting. So we have got Norwich City and Watford have already been relegated. So it's between Burnley, Leeds, and Everton. So one of these three teams will have to go down. So Burnley are currently in the 18th place uh, with 34 points. One point above them is Leeds United with uh, 35 points. However, they are the only team that only have one match left. And then there is Everton with 36 points. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen? Uh, well, Burnley don't look like beating anybody, to be honest. But they don't need to beat anybody. They need a point and hope that Leeds lose yeah. because of yeah. their superior goal difference. Absolutely. I think and Everton Burnley... will be safe. Everton need to beat. Is a Crystal Palace at home on Thursday? And then they yeah. will be safe. Yeah. Um, but it's not it's not guaranteed, so you never know. Palace are Palace are no mugs. No, that's true. They're a yeah tough team to beat. So mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, um, basically, Burnley don't have a bad running. Yeah. So first of all, they're playing uh, Aston Villa away. So it's possible they get something from that. Mm -hmm. And then their last game is against Newcastle United at home. So, I mean, two relatively favorable fixtures. Yeah, I think it's it's harder for Everton against Palace, in my opinion. Mm. Never not at home, but yeah. Um, well, they have one match. That's that's the main problem. It's just one match, whereas Burnley have two kind of two chance, two match balls or something like that. Everton have two matches. Leeds only have one match. It was an important goal for Leeds. Oh, Leeds sorry, sorry, sorry. Equalized yeah. in the last minute. That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That was if they had not. Yeah, it, yeah. You're right. Was that was yeah. that was a, that was against Brighton. That was a Leeds Leeds got a draw yeah. against Brighton with a late goal. Yeah. Yeah. And now they have only one game left. You're right. Uh, my bad. And that's the game against Brentford, and that will be away away, away. from home. Against Brentford and Brentford are on fire. They have just beaten Everton three mm two. -hmm. I saw the match um, again. Um, an early sending off really cost cost mm. Everton the game because they started off really well. Yeah, I um, haven't seen the sending off actually. Was it a sending yeah. off? It was kind of like a, they called it a professional foul, didn't it? But didn't uh, it? I think it was one of those that it was. Um, Goal, um, goal. What what do you call it? Goal when, scoring opportunity. Goal scoring opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it was going on goal. I think I can't remember what it was, but it was it was one of those. It was it was a sending off, 
yeah. then they got another red card late game, but that didn't matter yeah. anyway. But the, they played all right, Everton, but Brentford are not a bad team either. So I never watched it, to be honest. Christian but... Eriksson, you know, it's just, it's just yeah, great. Yeah, he's proving his class, isn't he? Absolutely. Well. Do you think he will stay at... Do you think he will stay at um, I Brentford? Think they say that other teams will try to sign him. Um, so Tottenham. Really? Well, I don't know. I he played in Tottenham uh, at Tottenham before. Yeah. He, he went to Italy, that. right? So. Yeah, I don't know who would. Yeah, possibly Everton. <laughs> so they like to sign players like that. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think his contract with Brentford was only a short contract. So yeah, it was only a half a year contract because they didn't want to take risks, uh, considering the the situation with with the, with his health, right? Yeah. So, and it was but, all about putting him in the shop window as well. I think so. Yeah. So a, a player of his quality might. Yeah, but you know what? To anyone. If I if I were Christian Eriksson, I would be really really kind of grateful for this oppor fantastic opportunity that Brentford gave mm -hmm. them because. That was quite brave of them, you know, to to sign this player. I think. Yeah, I don't know his medical condition. <laughs> yeah, well, but yes, he had he had um, his heart stopped beating, right? So in the yeah. Euros, so that's that's what I was referring to, and mm -hmm. it's he has, he's playing with some kind of device, yeah, in in his heart, but really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, he's he was not allowed to play with this in Italy. So that's okay. it's allowed it's possible to do that in England. So that's why he left Italy and started yeah. playing for Brentford. That, oh, that's he's allowed to play with this heart device in Italy. Wow. No, that's what was uh, yeah. It was where was he at Inter or Inter, yes. Yeah. So that's what happened, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But now he's 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 great, like incredible. Somehow it made him even stronger, you know, because he has he has yeah. survived his own death pretty much, right? So yeah. there's no what uh, what could yeah. be possibly worse than that. So true. yeah, true, yeah, amazing. Good luck too. Are you watching the Arsenal game? I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'm yeah. just looking if there's anything else I wanted to ask you about. Um, I think we've we've pretty much covered covered it all. Um, I think so. Yeah, fantastic. Manchester United didn't play, so it's good that we don't have to talk about them. <laughs> even if even if they had played, there would there would be nothing to talk about, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Where was uh, Marvin today? Did you text Marvin? <laughs> There's no chance of Marvin coming on today. I was a bit skeptical yeah, about that. Like I, I, I take I because we have a group for for the guests here. Yeah? We have a WhatsApp group, so yeah. I just this time I only messaged the group, yeah. and um, most people were making some excuses, and Marvin didn't respond. I don't yeah. know. I don't Hopefully, he will. We will have him back on in the future, of course, because he is is a passionate Chelsea fan, and it's always good to hear from other fans too so sure. marvin is always welcome no matter yeah. what happens to chelsea <laughs> right so um yeah i just wanted to ask you about your fantasy fantasy uh league. oh league. yeah i'm having a I, week i made some i i have a chance now i thought <laughs> it was i thought it was over i thought it was over but... i told you it's not over fancy football yeah it can I, all change I, I played my free hit chip and I think I I went for some really good players because I went for J, uh, Jamie Vardy yeah, and Madison one, yeah. and they, they and got Madison like they yeah. each got like 12 to 15 points or something like that. Yeah. And then I also went for Richardson as my captain. Good. Wow. Nice. Very good. He got a goal yeah. and an assist. Yeah. And I think we, he still have has one game in hand. So I did some minus points this week i think minus eight actually yeah i, made I saw that transfers <laughs> that didn't do well so yeah. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys yeah we have got this league yeah here we play uh, teaches denek league and frankly i it's been between me and paul for a long time now no one else can 
uh, details, I, th I think. I'm going to share my screen for a second just to show everyone this important, obviously, this is very important, right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. So Paul I is in the lead. Uh, two, oh, wow. Two, 2,224, and I'm only 12 points behind. <laughs> <laughs> I have said I don't know points. if they have taken the minus points off. Maybe they know. haven't. If they haven't, that's maybe, even better. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure if they take it off. So this yeah. is your team, yeah. So yeah, you still have you still week? have a few matches, but Salah, Salah, is isn't he injured? I don't know. Maybe he came off. He might not play. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't go for him. I went for Mane myself. I, I bought Mane. Oh, it's it's yeah. the free free hit, yeah. So it's just yeah. for this week. But uh, look, you have Mane. I have Mane, Son only three points, but Inks can still get some points against Burnley at home. That's a good good chance. You um, have to, you have three of the same defenders as me. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Ding, ding. I don't know how I you. Think I have Dean, Mikalenko, and Cash as well. Yeah. With yeah, well, yeah, I so think that's... I have cashed cashed in on them for sure. That's good for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will be ahead of me. Well, it's it's about okay. this Richardson, yeah? and I think that that will be the decisive factor. If he gets some points against Crystal Palace, I'll be in a really good position. Yeah. But um, it will be hard for um, Leicester against Chelsea. Yeah, so I'm not sure if they will both. I think I'm not sure if Vardy will play. He might play. Ex yeah. yeah. Uh, he did enough. Thirteen points is nice. Yeah, but he yeah. will definitely at least be a sub. Yeah. So yeah. you never know. He could score another one. But if if I get let's say another, I think another I have friend. Ings as well. I have Ings, don't I? Yeah. Well, I've got, yeah, I've, got, yeah. I've got Ings, Dean, Mikalenko, and Cash and Son. I've Let got yeah similar. Yeah, but unfortunately, this is my free hit. So after that, the last the last round, you might have a better team than me because I know some... because I've put these Aston Villa players in who are playing Manchester City. <laughs> okay, then. So this is your team, yeah. You you play. You have only one striker. I can see that, yeah. And mm. and Ketia on bench. Come on. <laughs> Eddie and Ketia or Salah. Uh, well, if Salah doesn't play, Ketia will come in. But yeah, honest, I can I see. I can put in Shah. I can see player. that. Yeah, I can. Well, so I think, Ramsdale. Ramsdale do you know what? Ramsdale will come in for me as well because Jose the Jose Sar didn't play for Wolves. Do you know what? I would actually go for Enketia over Saka at the moment. I was thinking that as well, actually. Yeah, it was a tough decision with Enketia. It was yeah, a someone Saka. someone got you five points on the bench. Who is that? Gelhart, I don't even Set know. Set up that, the equaliser. He did really well for the equaliser, mm -hmm. young scouser. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right, Paul. That's where we will leave it, and I'm going to watch the Arsenal game now. Thank you very much for featuring Thank in you. the show. It's always yeah. a pleasure to have you on. Pleasure. And to talk to you. Um, I know it's going to be tough for Liverpool, but I Thank wish you all the best. And you. you have to win the Champions League at least. I will definitely yeah. be ch cheering for you there. But the league, you have to get really lucky, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll be different. It's not lucky. It's just, it's unlikely. Isn't it? It's not in your hands, you know. It's just. It's not in our hands. True. No. Okay, Paul. Take care, yeah? Nice. Thank you, Zenit. Have a Cheers, good one. everyone. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and all those good things. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.